one human I always think of especially is my great grandmother, Miss Anna Garrett, um, who passed away this year at the age of 112. And every time I would visit her, just touching her hands and remembering where those hands have been. I mean, you know, being the daughter of slaves. So childhood was amazing. Like it was never super apparent, you know, probably until I got into middle school, you know, and all the biracial kids, like we kind of stuck together. That Yeah, there, there were uh, times where I felt invisible because, you know, from both ends, just did, I never thought I was black enough to embrace my blackness. Well, I mean, 2020 was rough. All of it was just a ricocheted, like Ahmaud Arbery and and, 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 and Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, and in a lot of ways. And I think you know, I I lost a lot of friends. I've been singing my entire life. I feel like that's such a such an answer for most people, but um, I've been a part of choirs uh, since I can remember. Um, I went to, I got a scholarship in college uh, for musical theater performance as well as choir. Creating narratives stemming from that awful narrative, like it's just, it's, it's, it's inspiring for sure. So reading the music, I was very touched and I was very, Excited. I was just excited to be a part of something that is so important. I mean, it was it was giving me some power back. I started to really embrace my blackness more. I don't even know if it's because of African American Requiem, but something just clicked to be a part of this new narrative that Damien has begun to write and telling my black family and seeing them so excited. It's really, really cool. Uh, on May 7th, when I sing this, uh, it's going to be emotional. I'm going to feel it, and it's going to feel very good. I think I found my power. My Requiem story reflects owning my power. <laughs> 